Hello, my name is Leo Bern. And my name is Rafael Rodriguez. And we're here to talk about our short film, Sensor of Dreams. <laughs> <laughs> We met more than 10 years ago and we started to make a music video uh, together. It worked pretty well on the internet, so we decided to create a collective called uh, Megaforce. And so, yeah, we started to collaborate together, working on different music videos and commercials for different uh, worldwide artists and different worldwide brands. Making like fiction f feature was uh, something that we were thinking about and Finally, so we decide to work together on, uh, on the writing and on the adaptation of a short story. Sense of Dream is an adaptation of a, a short story by a, a Japanese uh, writer called uh, Yasukata Tsutsui. We, we like uh, the, the anime called Paprika, and so uh, we looked for who uh, wrote it because it's an adaptation of a book, and so that's how we found uh, Yasukata Tsutsui. We really liked the idea, we felt like uh, it might be a pretty bad short film, so we looked for other ideas, but then <laughs> we came back to this story and felt like, yeah, but we like the, the idea, we like the story, maybe there is a good way to make a good short film out of it. It has uh, an interesting take on, uh, on Freud, uh, theory about uh, the sensor of dreams, he called it like that, explaining that uh, when we are dreaming there is like a sort of sensor, censorship, uh, trying to censor all the bad uh, thoughts and all the things we don't want to know that comes from our subconscious and that explain why the, the dreams are so weird is because they are like transformed to make them ununderstandable somehow. Through this, uh, this system there is an interesting story behind that treats the, the theme of the morning and the whole process. I've been uh, seen in a lot of movies, but I've never seen it through the prism of the, of the dreams. So we shot the film in uh, Kiev, actually. We found this place that is a uh, really an amazing uh, administration that looks really uh, unique and strange. And it was the perfect place to uh, to tell uh, the story. We shot in five days, four days into this administration place and one day and one night into the a house where we shot all the memories and all, all the scenes happening inside the swimming pool, so inside the dream. When you do a commercial and music video, you have to direct a bit the, the, the actors on, the set, on set, but it's, it's a bit different here. It's all about the text, all about the storytelling, the characters, and so it was uh, really uh, rewarding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, was, it was really <laughs> rewarding to work with uh, such great actors like Damien Bonnard. He was in Les Miserables. When we work on fiction, we had somehow to adapt a bit to the, the actors. Uh, for instance, a big difference between the, the script that we wrote and the, uh, the end uh, film that we've done is the character uh, played by Yoko Higashi. Uh -huh. At the end, uh, this character was supposed to do like a long monologue to explain the whole story and all. She was like giving so much just by uh, her presence that we felt like maybe it could be non-verbal and more visual. And so we went for something like more inspired by uh, G horror, like, uh, like Japanese horror films. There is definitely a word from Terry Gilliam called Brazil in this kind of story happening in an administration, a bit strange and a bit old and, and dirty, like this kind of universe, but mixed with other influences like Afterlife from Koreeda. It's uh, happening uh, just after the, the death of people and it's happening also in an administration like that. And we felt yeah. it was quite interesting to uh, tell a story that is like about something quite uh, uh, metaphysical, but um, to incarnate it into a very tangible world. For instance, it's the same for the last, so I spoil a bit with the last uh, shot. There is a kind of a mad painting behind the characters that this mad painting, uh, we would li uh, like to make it like tangible, realistic, that almost you can feel the wind in it making uh, the fabric moving. This kind of films from the 60s, there is one especially, uh, quite done by Kobayashi. It's really fascinating the, the way they, they use the, the mad painting. Everything is like real, it's like, like a theater, let's say. We like to reproduce that in, even in the dream, that don't, we don't feel the post-production, everything looks real. Cool, yeah, we try to use practical effects as much as we can. We try to avoid the CG uh, feeling. 
uh, reading the script, it feels like really expensive because uh, it, it looks like there are a lot of special effects, but it's a short film. We don't have much budget, so we had to invent and uh, be creative the way we are, we are treating those uh, big effects. And uh, the biggest effect is basically there is a swimming pool appearing into uh, the, the main room. We spend all the money on one big white shot in which we did, like, uh, we put this uh, swimming pool in CG, perfectly done. Uh, by Time Based Arts, thanks to them. Having this, uh, this shot make the audience buy that the swimming pool is actually in this room. After that, we could like make just some uh, shots uh, in which we imagine the swimming pool is still there, but we don't see it basically. And uh, we have done some shots inside a real swimming pool. And just on the side of the swimming pool, we have put the same carpet of the floor of the main room. And so just framing just a little bit of the border of the, the swimming pool, it felt like the swimming pool was still into this room. So that was a much cheaper effect, more simple. But as soon as we had established the swimming pool with a money shot, then we could have like more cheap effects and still buy the fact that the swimming pool was in a room. So at the moment, we are each other working on our own feature film. We still think it's really interesting and we were willing to work together as a collective at the group. We want to keep doing things together. For the moment it's commercial and music video, but it could be also a feature of, or TV shows, things like that. You know, we, are, we keep the things open and flexible.